Alrighty guys, so um, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today's video is going to be a 1912 Buffalo Pit steam tractor. So I um, had this built about a week ago um, before I went up north. So I'm going to show you guys right now. So if you guys remember the first Buffalo Pit steam tractor I built, um, that one was kind of a junk build. So um, here's the second version. Um, got redesigned and it's... It's a lot better condition. Um, did a lot better job on it. If you guys, if you guys remember the first one I did, um, you guys could probably tell how much of a better job I did on this. So, I pretty much redid the entire engine and and a uh, platform. You call it with this area where the guy would run it is called a platform. It's not really a cab; it's a platform. So, um, it's nice and stabilized under here. That's how you should always make them. If you if you build these like how I do, then the bottom I just showed you is how you should make them. So I'll probably do another video of this with a plow maybe hooked to it so I can show you guys plowing. I'll just plow with it a little bit. and I just think this is a pretty good tractor. It's, so this would weigh about nine and a half tons um, in real life. So that's a... So nine and a half tons on this tractor is pretty serious amount of weight. So if you guys have ever wondered how these steam tractors get to a tractor show or wherever they go, um, if you guys ever wonder, they they travel on semi trailers just b because of the size and how wide they are and stuff. Some of them weigh up to 20 tons or more, like the 110 horse case. That one weighs like around 23 tons or something. Um, I don't really know. I don't know completely everything about them. I just know what I know about them. So they mostly travel on semi because of how heavy they are, and it takes a lot of work just to. By the way, another thing. Another another thing you guys are probably wondering how like how do they get them on onto the trailer like a front front end loader of course or something because they're so huge they have to have a loader or something to push them in pull them off the trailer so that's just how big they are and stuff so there's the answer if you guys have ever wondered how they travel or how they load them and all that so they use a front end loaders maybe another semi or something because it's just they're so heavy it takes like another huge vehicle to pull them off they don't farm them up and then alone they actually get another vehicle or something and pull them off so just <coughs> excuse me so um just lighting a fire in them would be kind of a waste of time just to unload them and that's why you need to get another front front end loader or something to unload them so that's how most people i'm um, getting them off for tra trailers so so i totally redid this whole tractor basically from scratch and the only stuff i don't really take apart at all is the boiler and fire box connected so because that's kind of that's not really too hard to build um i just like to keep it I, I just save it from every single build for the next one so so yeah <clears throat> excuse me so um hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'll have um, more redesigns coming out for you guys and um i hope you guys like my new hat too i got this up north too um my grandma got me that so um i'm i have like two new hats so far, um, if you guys remember me wearing that John Deere hat, I got kind of tired of wearing that one. So I, the other, my first new hat that I got this year, I bought that one, and then my grandma bought this one. Um, I don't know if you guys can read it, but um, I got it from Pictured Rock Boat Tour. Um, if you guys have ever been there, I was there just last weekend. We went on a boat tour and. I definitely, I definitely like these hats. So I'm um, the only only reason I really like these hats is is the adjusting here because my John Deere hat um the back of it always um comes unadjusted so I would I would buy this hat instead of the other way of um, adjusting it because an, an adjust like this is really nice and um I don't have to worry about it coming off on me so that's why I like these hats better so I hope you guys enjoyed this 1912 steam tractor um I'll maybe I'm I'll probably build a plow for it or something. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and video and like share on um, this tractor. I I I appreciate you guys sharing this with your family and friends. Um, so I can 
get more subscribers to keep this amazing channel running for you guys. I love building stuff for you guys. So, um, hope you enjoyed and like, subscribe, and have a great night.